Greetings lords and ladies, I am the mighty Gammon. If you enjoy this top quality video, please get into a black cab and run over your closest friend, but pretend it was an accident so you can laugh it off later. The first car on this list is the classic London black cab, or black taxi if you prefer. I feel this is such an iconic vehicle that the pedestrians in-game actually want to be hit by it. Think of it this way, when you come to London you always grab some funny trinket or outfit that shows off the city, maybe a fridge magnet with Big Ben on it or something like that, right? This is the same thing, these people can claim they were run over by an iconic British vehicle. Imagine how many times they'll get laid once they can officially say that. They'll have queues of potential lovers forming, hopefully in a straight line so I can easily run them all over too. You can also do do this. I like it, could you? Another vehicle that is perfect for cleaning up the streets of London is the double-decker bus. This machine rams through almost anything and is slim enough that the pedestrians will not know it's coming until it's too late. Notice how the citizens practically give up when faced with the death bus. They know they cannot stop it or reason with the driver. All they can do is say their last rites and repent for their various sins. See that ambulance? The driver didn't buy my OnlyFans and the patient inside thinks Davina McCall's Fit in 15 qualifies as a good Christmas present. Revenge is a dish best served on a double-decker bus, or so they say. The bus is also quite good for weathering the consequences of your road rage because Albion don't quite know how to stop you. As long as you keep moving, the soldiers will very rarely open fire and you can try to hack any drones that come after you. I noticed the police were discussing ramming my vehicle off the road, but when they try to do anything of the sort, this happens. <laughs> Oh god, oh, oh Christ, no. I can't believe they've done this. Spencer was only 10 minutes away from retirement as well. So anyway, let's switch to this guy who carries a sledgehammer around the street to continue my Scientology video. Another great road rage vehicle is this Ferrari Bugatti Malta first edition car. It has a speed that is unmatched in the northern London hemisphere, which makes it the ideal car for catching pedestrians unaware, or just generally catching them if they try to run away. As you can see, stress relief is pretty effortless in this car. The Lamborghini Mozzarella Pizza 6 is one of my favourite cars in the game, hands down. It combines three horsepowers with the classist aesthetics, which really makes you feel like you have the swagger of a black team. It Londoner gives me goosebumps every time he does run it. From not only the police, but also himself. I should write erotic thriller novels. Sorry. Accident. Another good thing about the Ristretto Volkswagen is that you can use it to go for a quick drive in your local park instead of wasting energy walking. Why have fresh air and exercise when you can have your car heating turned up to an uncomfortable level, whilst the air is filled with the smell of burning pine tree air freshener? Ubisoft were really clever when making this one because you can turn the car into an assassin, like from their critically acclaimed Assassin's Diary games. You've just been pranked. The next hilarious vehicle is the ambulance, because nothing says irony like someone getting hospitalised by a hospital transport. The ambulance also allows you to do some sick drifts to impress your friends whilst knocking down half the city's population. I find this vehicle to be really aerodynamic as well. Pedestrians effortlessly slide over the windscreen and off the roof with only a few major skeletal injuries. I see this as an absolute win for angry paramedics everywhere. Now they can get to their patients much faster. There is only one way to deal with conspiracy theorists, running them over with their worst nightmare. The truth. My personal favourite vehicle to assault people with is the motorbike. It provides a real challenge to the player as the hitbox is really small. Also you appear much larger than the other vehicles, like the bus, so pedestrians can easily see you approaching. When being chased, you can find a nice quiet car park and park your not car in the car park parking bay which isn't meant for your not car car bike parking at the... Uh, thanks to the large metal object that is the motorbike, even in this 3 vs 1 fight against construction workers, I have the upper hand.
Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.